having grown up and lived all my life basically in Cache County, there's an event that we had talked about kind of quietly, and it's called the Bear River Massacre. And the thing that we always heard about it is uh, that it was a very important thing for the Army. It was not, uh, as some instances have been, involving any members really of the uh, predominant religion, but it was the Army that came up here and took care of a problem. As I've gotten older and gotten more acquainted with the issue, I don't know if we really heard the correct history on it. Today we have in our body a person who can tell you about it. He's written a very good book, Darren Perry. I've known him personally, and I know the great work he's done for the Shoshone Nation. Let me just read this. It's really important. President Adams, we have here today to honor an incredible leader and representative of the Shoshone people, historian and Shoshone elder, Chairman Darren Perry. Darren has worked tirelessly to bring the, the deeply moving stories, history, and culture of the Shoshone people to light. As a proud Indi uh, American, he knows this, knew the stories that he'd heard from his grandmother were at risk of being forgotten if someone didn't document them. Darren's new book, The Bear River Massacre, A Shoshone History, tells the story of the Shoshone people and enriches our Utah history with yet unheard of and untold stories. Darren is the most humble person I know. His desire to display the resilience of the Shoshone people to the, so their story will never be forgotten is to be commended. You may recall this legislature has authorized money actually out of the state of Utah because if you, you can find it very easily. All you need to do is go to Preston, go north as though you're going to Pocatello, and as you go west a little bit and then drop down to the Bear River, you go by the spot. It really has not been recognized until now they're really taking the steps to do that. We have with us today Attorney General Sean Reyes and also uh, Commissioner Summers from, uh, from uh, Box Elder County are here. And I, I would like to have Darren come forward and have our reading yes. clerk read the citation. And then I'm going to resolve ourselves in the Committee of the Whole, let Darren take a few minutes. D uh, Darren, why don't you come in the middle to begin with? Why don't you, and why we read the citation? So appreciate you being here. Thank you. She do that, Nancy. Mm -hmm. uh, Madam Reading Clerk. Utah State Senate citation honoring Darren Perry. We honor Dar Darren Perry for his work to illuminate the history of the Shoshone Nation. We acknowledge Darren's visionary leadership to the Northwestern Band of the Shoshone Nation to preserve their history and culture. We thank Darren for his aspirations and determination to build an interpretive center at the memorial site of the Bear River Massacre. Many perspectives, traditions, and experiences make us stronger, wiser, and more resilient as a people. Now therefore, let it be recognized that the Utah Senate pays tribute to his work and research and his family story and the untold history of the Bear River Massacre. His commitment to, the, to memorialize the history of the Shoshone Nation has brought his people together, enriching all of us, and continues to bring reconciliation that will be felt for generations to come. Thank you. I would add one other thing, too. When you come to Logan or Cache Valley, you'll see the American Festival, uh, American Heritage Farm. And that is also a base for the northern uh, Shoshone. And you can see and find some things there as well. Uh, Mr. President, I would like S Commissioner Summers to stand up and also Sean Reyes and recognize them. Darren, if you have family members or supporters in the audience or someplace, I'd appreciate them standing up as well. Yeah, let's recognize them. Thank you there. Looks like they're on the, the west side here. Thank you for being here. And let's, let's congratulate you. Thank you, Darren. I appreciate all you've done for the state. And I appreciate, appreciate you being here. Mr. President, I, I would move in the committee to hold for three minutes to hear from Mr. Perry. I think he gives you a very good We have story. a motion to resolve to a committee of the whole. Uh, all in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? I rule that motion passes. Mr. Perry, right there. They didn't tell me this part. I'm indeed honored to be in front of you today. This is a special honor and I appreciate those who have made this possible. You know, I was raised at the feet of my grandmother who sat and told me stories and stories and oral histories and, and they became uh, etched in my soul. 
And uh, I honor her today, as well as our people. History is a funny thing. You know, I, I don't want to change history. I don't believe we need to. But we can change the future. And I believe you as a body are, are doing that. And, uh, and I honor you for that. What a blessing it was two years ago to be able to purchase the Bear River Massacre site. We raised $2 million of our own money to do that. And with the help of the, your group and the legislature last year, uh, you appropriated a, a sizable amount of money that'll go towards the building of a beautiful interpretive center. We just want our perspective heard. Uh, that's all. We're not looking to have things made right. Uh, you really can't do that. But I believe as we come together and, and see each other for who we are and get close, uh, hate disseminates and, and we, we see each other for, for the human beings we can be. And uh, it's just my hope that uh, as you look at legislation, as you do your work that you do, such an important work that uh, you remember the one. Remember those who are marginalized by our society. Remember those who are hurting in some way. And, uh, and just do the right thing, which you do. So I'm honored that you would recognize me this day. It's a wonderful blessing in my life. And I promise you all continue to work hard to foster love and not hate, to extend a hand in friendship and not a fist. And uh, thank you for all you do. I appreciate it. <laughs>